Now to former President Donald Trump's criminal hush money trial in Manhattan. The prosecution star witness has yet to take the stand. But jurors are already hearing Michael Cohen's words as prosecutors work to directly tie the former president to payments to silence women with damaging claims about him before the 2016 election. Here's ABC's Morgan Norwood. The jury in Donald Trump's criminal trial is hearing more testimony and evidence about that alleged hush money payment at the center of the case, beginning with Doug Douse, the forensic analyst for DA Alvin Bragg, who yesterday testified about a September 2016 recording of Donald Trump and his former fixer and lawyer Michael Cohen discussing the arranged purchase of Kieran McDougall's story. The jury also heard about text messages sent 12 days before the 2016 presidential election from Stormy Daniels lawyer Keith Davidson, who sent a two-word text about a $130,000 wire transfer he accepted on behalf of Daniels, saying, quote, funds received. It was some of the jury's first direct evidence of the hush payment that prosecutors said Trump tried to conceal from voters by falsifying business records. On election night 2016, Davidson texted an editor at the National Enquirer, what have we done? Months later, Davidson speaking with Cohen, who says Trump often complained about paying Daniels. And I, I can't even tell you how many times he said to me, you know, um, I hate the fact that we did it. And my comment to him was, but every person that you've spoken to told you it was the right move. I attributed that to be a quote from Mr. Trump. Davidson testified about what the prosecutor asked, the Stormy Daniels settlement. On cross-examination, the defense suggesting that Trump was the victim of a shakedown by a lawyer steeped in tabloid tactics for celebrity stories involving Hulk Hogan, former MTV reality star Tila Tequila, and Charlie Sheen. The defense asking, in 2016, were you pretty well-versed in getting right up to the line without committing extortion, right? I had familiarized myself with the law, Davidson responded. Trump has denied any wrongdoing outside the courtroom, once again criticizing the judge. He's allowing things in that have nothing to do with this case, nothing to do with it. And the former president has falsely claimed that he's not allowed to testify in this case. The judge, though, telling him today he does have that right and that it cannot be infringed upon. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.